Welcome to the TDC Today Show USA. We are thrilled to be here, and I am Sue Roscoff, and I am introducing you this uh, this episode here to my wonderful husband, Kurt Roscoff, who is an ambassador with the Disability Channel. I'm thrilled to be able to pass that over to you. So over to you, Kurt. All right. Thank you, Sue. Thank you for everybody for tuning in. Uh, we are looking forward to this episode of having a couple individuals here doing great work in the world and really building out our international dynamic here at the Disability Channel. Again, the Disability Channel um, on the mission of continuous production of TV by and with people with disabilities and veterans. And in that, we are all the time showcasing abilities. Um, so we are nonetheless in the show business. We're in the media space and we are here to spread messages around the world on the World Wide Web and this live streaming format with YouTube and syndicating it out to our partners uh, like Lawrence Wingate of Wingate Studios. We have Marianne Waikiki here who uh, likes to refer to him, but you know our capacities for the film industry are growing in the last nine days. Uh, we have onboarded Afro International Film Market and Festival, an event October 12th through the 14th. So we have connected here Jasper Johnson. But we're going to get started with uh, Mariana Waikiki and with her uh, being in Mexico, truly. Uh, she likes also the nickname Mariana de Mexico. So for that, we're going to pass it over to Emily. Emily, take it away and give us further introductions of Marianne, a.k.a. Mariana. <laughs> <clears throat> hey everybody. Uh we met Marianne through the Happy Neighborhood Project. Uh she is an author um uh, and has a book series uh with uh puppets and um so Marianne, I'm gonna pass it over to you to say a little more about what you do. Well, hola and gracias for the Disability Channel and uh, having us here in Happy Neighborhood Projects and Lawrence Wingate Studios. So, uh, yes, I am uh, Marianne Ambrose. I go by Marianne of Waikiki. I'm the author of the Acts of Kindness series featuring 200 folk manis puppets. Uh, my books are written for animation movies with sign language characters and soundtrack by Lucy and The Perfect Wave. So uh, classroom teachers in the United States of America can receive copies of my books from an organization called DonorsChoose.org. Now, there's over 30,000 schools in the United States, as well as 3,000 deafblind schools. So all the teacher has to do is take 10 minutes to go on DonorsChoose.org, request the books uh, from Amazon, request the books from Folk Manus on Amazon, and post it and someone will come through and fund it. So it's uh, so easy and everybody wins. And uh, through the pandemic, uh, I used that pandemic unemployment assistance to friendly trademark the Acts of Kindness series uh, with Dr. Liddy out of Orlando. And uh, I created uh, online courses uh, with fingerspelling alphabet uh, with the characters on Apple. So you can visit Apple app games also. You can visit the website, uh, actsofkindnessseries.com and you can see the products. You can meet Chelsea, the courageous sign language chicken, uh, Eve, the finger spelling bumblebee, uh, Greta Gobble on the golf course, who is an app game for golfing and counting your numbers with the golf balls. And um, Dr. Fingers, the finger spelling hermit crab. And a fingerspelling game of learning uh, the sea creatures uh, in my first book called Underwater Acts of Kindness. Uh, that first book is written for the Animal Planet TV show Tanked, uh, where they build aquariums in Las Vegas. And it features Noah, the hard of hearing whale, who tackles the Great Pacific Garbage Patch between Hawaii and California. He's recruited by a general of the New Earth Army. So uh, we want to highlight all the military uh, moms and dads that are coming back from being of service who can't hear their own children or grandchildren. So these are great educational books of what's really happening in our world. Uh, the second book is uh, Rabbit Acts of Kindness, No Bully, 
featuring Chelsea, the courageous sign language chicken, Harry, the hard of hearing rabbit, and Eve, the finger spelling bumblebee. And, uh, and then we have a Pono, the Hawaiian Polo Pony, which is uh, actually polo season is starting in Hawaii. So uh, we want to make sure people can get the books out there as well on the polo field. And I'm in Mexico. Uh, my co-writer, Suzanne Sims, relocated from Waikiki to Guadalajara. And I'm in San Carlos, Mexico. And we're going to be starting writing the uh, climate change book uh, featuring another 50 folk manis puppets. So uh, I'm really excited. I, I just got my uh, laptop here. I got my iPhone replaced after the uh, hurricane. We were in Hurricane K over here on the sailboat uh, in September. So getting uh, the office kind of set up here and uh, the temperature is going to be 85 today. So uh, we get up early, do our uh, walking. I volunteered at the uh, thrift store, the Riscotti thrift store down the road here. Uh, they have several people volunteering and nurses that I met here, American nurses. And uh, all the money goes towards uh, the EMT ambulance services salaries. So we um, donated a bunch of uh, items there today. Uh, and uh, I'm also volunteering at the Castaway Kids to do the displays. So again, all the, the sales of the thrift store products uh, actually benefit the community, such as the children's music department. So um, it's a beautiful community. The weather's picking up and uh, and uh, it's going to be a, a great summer uh, here. I know it's uh, just May. Uh, well, we're going to be rolling into May. And speaking of May, May is Better Speech and Hearing Month. So we're looking for guest speakers to come on and talk about speech language, pathology, audiology, um, and uh, it will be a great, exciting month. And uh, May 1st is May Day Lay Day in Hawaii. So again, you'll want to get a copy of the book, Rabbit Acts of Kindness, where Auntie Renee gives Harry the hearty hearing rabbit a plumeria a lay. So they're great stories. Again, you can visit the website. You can go to Apple and meet the characters and test your skills. Uh, all different games here. And uh, it's just uh, going to be great fun to... Uh, reconnect with Suzanne. I got my laptop here. I can't wait to just start typing away with all these character descriptions that I've been getting ideas for. And I have been on the uh, Mel Robbins uh, three, three day workshop. And uh, I got a lot of creative ideas how to really develop these characters. And uh, looking forward to taking a online coaching program with her as well who could possibly help us bring these Acts of Kindness series books worldwide. So uh, we're also including Happy Neighborhood Projects. I got three characters, several characters, of uh, people who I've met who have given me ideas uh, for this climate change book. So uh, it's all uh, exciting to see the thought to action that's happening. And, uh, you know, I work with the Fiverr team over in Pakistan. And uh, they've been working, you know, nonstop. So I appreciate all of them working on it. And the idea is to bring them into animation movies. Uh, and Leon McLaughlin is a no, another partner that's going to be in the book. He's with Clean Water Foundation. Now, Leon's been on the show the past couple of weeks. And he is currently in Beverly Hills, California today at a real estate office uh, fundraising uh, for the Clean Water Foundation to bring filters to worldwide uh, 35 countries and filters to schools and clinics. And he's focusing on the uh, Navajo uh, Hopi tribe uh, community. So we are going to definitely put him in this next book. And uh, it's just going to be real exciting. And we do have uh, characters from Africa in there all coming together talking about what we can do to be of service for this climate change and all adapt to it uh, with this ever-changing worldwide, um, you know, uh, weather conditions that are happening. So I'm grateful. It's uh, 85 today. Uh, got in an early walk and swimming in the pool and uh, getting organized on the laptop to uh, meet with Suzanne uh, in the next coming week. So um, it's working out well here. So back to you guys. Thank you so much for letting me be here. We'll keep you updated uh, with Leon and we'll find out what's going on with him and uh, his fundraiser today. Excellent. Thank you so much for all the updates. I actually, I've 
brought up on my screen so I could share a little bit. You, one of your uh, apps that you have available where you can learn sign language. You're actually looking, the, we're learning the letters of the alphabet on here. And you were mentioning that Mayday, Layday. I love that at the end of when you finish a screen and you've actually got all the letters in place, that that's what is part of the reward at the end. <laughs> so give me one second. I've got one more item to click here and you can see that the cute little bumblebee is getting a lay from the Monarch Butterfly. I just think this is the cutest app and it's a super easy way to get to know all the different letters of the alphabet in sign language. So it's just, it's a very fun thing to do. And it is, it's a free app. So like you said, it's super easy to download. And a lot of times, you know, your kids are playing around on their phone anyway, right? Why not give them an app to use where they can actually learn something that's actually very useful to know all the letters of the alphabet. So I just, I wanted to share that because I am impressed with it. I think it's very fun. So thanks for taking the time to create that and being in the back of that happening. So um, now uh, let's see, Kurt, I'm gonna actually bring you back in. If you wanna just give us a brief highlight here, uh, I know recently we were, I had just had an episode where we talked a bit about this film, uh, the film event that is going to be taking place in October. I'm um, wondering if you can just hit the highlights of what that event is so we can keep the promotion going on that and make sure everybody's aware of that big fun deal that's coming forward down the pipe. So over to you, Kurt. All right, so we have the Afro International Film Market and Festival is happening Thursday through Saturday, um, October 12th uh, through the 14th. And we are set up um, at the Auburn Avenue Research Library in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, so we have that open to the public. It's a free uh screening experience and you know everything else will end up being set up for in there open to the public it's all free for that part and uh we are working things out for our second venue um that we'll be able to hopefully announce in the short term here in may um so uh we are spending the next five months uh calling around the world for all of our film enthusiasts all of our filmmakers, our screenwriters, our actors, and you know, so on and so forth. So um, a lot of connecting is going to be happening in the months ahead. And we are doing film Fridays right here at the Disability Channel. Um, our hosting group here of the TDC Today Show USA, we are hosting on Zoom with Ability Now. Uh, come on Zoom, uh, join Zoom meeting with uh, ability now is the personal link name and that is available every friday three central i'm sorry two central three eastern three eastern um every friday for an hour we'll be doing a little bit of a review and um, just kind of being hospitable to everybody that connects and uh, so we're going to be doing all sorts of creative things to mix things up a little bit and kind of get away from business as usual here at the Disability Channel and do all sorts of uh, great stuff, captivate all sorts of people around many nations around the world to uh, really amplify our consumption of all this great programming here at the Disability Channel. So I also want to give a great shout out to a friend that just joined us, Ralph Dana. Uh, I'm looking forward to an event that's going to be taking place um, on Armed Forces Day. Uh, that's going to be May 20th. And uh, so Ralph there is uh, kind of taking a month to just kind of stay away from the razors and stay away from haircuts. And he's going to let the hair grow out to be frizzy and free and, you know, just kind of get that long hair going. And it's going to make a real dramatic event for the Veterans Ranch. Um, it's going to be right at the World of Ability podcast, and uh, Ralph might be doing some precursor appearances here at the TDC Today Show USA to really build it up, really get a following, and it's um, to encourage people to donate uh, to the Veterans Ranch. 
so that uh, donation button is available as it always has been right there. Donate now, the veteransranch.org. So we're taking a month to just really um, make that shout out to the Veterans Ranch, the great work, uh, including our friend JR, um, doing a lot of the heavy lifting, you know, with the Veterans Ranch and literally some heavy lifting. You know, if you're when you're running a ranch and taking care of horses, that's kind of all part of the territory. And it looks like we have our friend uh, Barbara Weinstein is uh, coming in here on her uh, mobile device and she seems to be out and about uh, all part of her shenanigans. Oh. <laughs> so what's what's going on, Barbara? Hi, so I'm at Pine Key. It is the Pine Key Deer right by uh, Key West. And it's a spiritual retreat. I'm really happy to be here. And I'm supposed to be jumping on a float right now. It's a six-person floating with a jacuzzi in the middle. <laughs> so I wanted you to know, and I'll tell you the story about it next week. That's okay. Because this is fun. And, and there's a comedy show, and there's a talent show, and I got to, like, catch up with everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for catch. Thanks for catching up here. So, uh, Wreck It Ralph, what do you have to say for a moment here? Any shout outs you want to add in for the Veterans Ranch and any more you want to give to the background of you uh, getting a buzz cut on Arms Forces Day? Um, yeah. Um, you know, the, our veterans deserve more than what our country does for them. Um, I'm from a, a family of veterans, um, from my father, brothers, and my son, and uh, some uncles. But uh, our veterans are forgotten. Um, they they give they give their all, and when they come back, um, they have to fight for what they get. And it was promised to them, and they shouldn't have to pay for anything. And uh, JR and the, the Veterans Ranch sees to it that they don't pay for anything there. And um, I think it's a great cause, and I'm more than happy to. I wish I could do more. Well, what you're doing is amazing. I am excited for the big event coming up uh, on Armed Forces Day, I believe May 20th, if I have the date correct. Yes. And that uh, that's something that we are we're <laughs> we're excited for. I think this is going to be a lot of fun, and we appreciate what you're all doing for that. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you to Marianne uh, for being here and giving us updates here on on what you've all got going in the works because you guys there's so many fun things happening. It's great to be able to highlight them here. One more thing I would like to highlight briefly is with the the Today Show. Uh, Budweiser presents the Good Friends World Tour 2023. Want to make sure everybody's aware of what is coming later this year. So uh, they are um, starting their journey with millions of people worldwide through performance, radio, TV, social media. All this media is proudly sponsored by the Disability Channel and their valued partners. They are also honored and privileged to bring awareness to this and support for Project Die Hard. Uh, they are also working with veterans and uh, an amazing veterans program. And 90% of donations will be going to them. So they do have a June 2023 launch in both Cleveland, Ohio, and in Toronto, Canada. They are going to be touring through USA and Canada and coming soon to a venue near you. This is the Good Friends World Tour more information can be found at goodfriendsworldtour.com. Again, that was goodfriendsworldtour.com. So we're excited for that and for that film festival coming up in October. Ahead of that, though, we got Ralph joining us again on May 20th. And actually here to wrap up this edition of the TDC Today Show USA, I'm going to pass this back to Kurt. All right. So again, we... I always put those friendly reminders to check out the website, the disabilitychannel.ca, CA, because we're founded, headquartered, and operated out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 
And on there, you can make sure that you're subscribing, uh, Ralph and Marianne, make sure everybody around here, is, well, and Emily, I don't even know if you're subscribing. Sue, are you subscribing? We have to take a roll call. Is everybody subscribing to the newsletter put out uh, by the Disability Channel? Because there's going to be news coming through the Disability Channel. Mark my words on that one. And feel free to give me a call or text me at 262-3721-SKI. That's 262-372-1754. And feel free to email me anytime through our fiscal agent, Kurt at projectdiehard.org. And make sure to catch all of our social medias. Follow the YouTube uh, channel of the Disability Channel. And, uh, you know, all of the Instagram posts that we're putting out there help us really build up this audience. Because, hey, it is very worthwhile having this television production, buy in with people with disabilities and veterans, and really get out there and help support us in this work. We want to replicate having studios all around the world that are in this mantra that people with disabilities and veterans are definitely a part of what we do. Again, I'm Kurt Roscoff, your ambassador with the Disability Channel, here with Sue Roscoff, Emily Gomer, Ralph Dana, Marianne of Waikiki, Mariana de Mexico. We're the crew for you.